Um, hi, my name is Trinity Johnson. I'm a freshman at Westside High School. And this is my poem, I Love This Country, But It Doesn't Love Me. When I look at old photos of me and my sister, the first thing I notice is how much darker I am than her. But skin tone meant nothing to us back then. All I knew is that mommy's family spoke a different language than daddy's, and that was cool. They were secret superheroes masked in green chili, dressed in dirt piles, so papillas like throwing stars, yet all superheroes have a villain. And theirs is a person whose pigment is their power. But to them, they're the good, and we're the bad, or we'll switch at a costume change of a color we get ignored. White men dog call us because we don't even get the luxury of the cat. Bite marks bring you into womanhood, yet somehow we're painted as the attackers. New stories like illegal immigrant brutally kills white girl makes push for the wall more prevalent. The killer's family gets a statement, not talking about the man, the colorless man who kidnaps Mexican girls and how he gets the statement, the comparison of the brown skin school girls next to the White picket fence family makes them look like the bad guys. Now, mind you, these are the same stories, just different sun colors. So why does Maria get less justice than Molly? Why was there no national news stories when shots were fired in a New Mexico school? It shouldn't matter your skin color. Brown still bleeds red. Why do brown girls feel the need to cover up your skin, but when you artificially tan your body, it's acceptable? What? Speaking Spanish is a poison-tipped arrow shot society standards of a true American. That's why my mom doesn't know it. Raised in a time where sounding Caucasian on the phone was a superpower. People wonder what I am. My skin can be two colors. And that's why when I was nine years old, I was told to go back to my country by a white girl, the same white girl I sit next to in Spanish class who insists she's not racist, that she loves tacos, her gardener's brown. We do not choose our place in this world that they're put there by inequality, unfair social standards, and how dark your skin is next to the color cream beige. I am Hispanic and white. A mixture not plastered on every street corner, but an option in those questionnaires. But you expect a world where the colors don't collide. You try to apologize. But sorry means nothing when you still stereotype. It's 2019. Racism should be the villain. Not me. Someday I want to be a superhero who doesn't have to fight oppression. But how boring would that be? How normal would that seem? Me amo este payas, pero no me ama. All right. <laughs>